Three friends in their 40s decide to go on a getaway as they cope with loss and heartbreak. Hey guys, welcome back to Flix Recap. My name is Luke Pelletier and today we're covering the 2018 comedy MILF. Before we start, be sure to drop a like, leave a comment, and of course subscribe to Flix Recap if you dig the breakdown. And just so we're clear, no, I'm not going to tell you what the acronym MILF stands for. You have Google at your disposal. If you don't already know, you can figure it out. And as a disclaimer, this video contains my own personal analysis and commentary. It's not a substitute for watching the film itself. Links to purchase the film are in the description below. Let's do it. The movie kicks us off with three women on a road trip. Here we meet our main characters, Sonia, Cecile, and Elise. Cecile is an unemployed widow with two teenage children, so she's basically already in hell. The purpose of the trip is to clean out her holiday home and put it up on the market for sale. Elise is a doting mother and Sonia is hell-bent on scoring the man of her dreams, Pascal, who falsely promises that he's ending his long-term relationship. A car is tailgating them on the highway and Elise gives them room to pass. Elise has Sonia grab the wheel and proceeds to flash her rack for the passing vehicle. Unfortunately, the men turn out to be police officers, who revoke Elise's license. Seriously? Elise offered to blow one of the cops. Just to add insult to injury. Not to the girls, but to the cops. Jeez, what a wild start. They finally arrive at the house which hasn't been inhabited in years. Here they find a pelican perched in Cecile's bedroom. The next day, the ladies get to cleaning and packing. Sonia and Elise are eager for a break and they decide to go sailing the next day. While sailing, Sonia and Elise meet Paul and Julian, sailing instructors for the first time. Paul creates a distraction by throwing one of the kids in the water for a fake rescue mission, prompting Elise and Sonia to get closer and see what's going on. The ladies get back to the beach. Here they meet Marie Christine, an old friend of Cecile. Marie introduces them to a dashing gentleman named Thomas who's jogging by the beach. Marie offers to take them dancing later that evening. Cecile decides to stay home as Sonia and Elise head out to paint the town red. Sonia and Elise have a hard time getting into the club because of their advanced age. Just in the nick of time, Paul, Julian, and Marcus show up and help them get into the spot. It's an absolute banger and the squad is having a good time. Elise has the MILF money so she decides to treat them all to some cocktails after the guys admit they can't afford the drinks at the bar. Feeling lucky after a fantastic experience, Paul daringly swoops in and gives Elise some lip service. The ladies head home after a pretty lit night. The next day, Thomas joins the ladies for a game of beach volleyball and they later head to Cecile's house for a wind down. When the three musketeers stop by for a visit, Thomas's condescending demeanor comes to light. Elise intervenes in time and escorts Thomas out. The group's having dinner and getting to know each other. Sonia's in the company of Julian when she receives an unpleasant voice note from Pascal of his gherkin being slurped. Oh my god, that is such a nasty way of putting that. And no, I can't blame autocorrect. Sonia's crestfallen and the walk in on her beside herself in tears. Angered by this, Cecile reaches a breaking point and the once cool and composed woman is now drinking from the bottle and incites the rest to go looking for some ice cream. The city's asleep, so needless to say, all the ice cream joints are closed. In one daring move, Cecile vandalizes an ice cream fridge and makes way with a huge tub. They head out on a night drive as they enjoy their illicit ice cream reward. Julian's forced to carry Sonia since the space in the car is not big enough causing him to, oh, one of my favorite sayings, preemptively shoot his wad. The classiest way to put it for sure. He requests Marcus to pull up and leaves the car, along with both Paul and Marcus. After the mishap, the girls continue on their drive until they get to a lake. Here they throw all caution to the wind and decide to go skinny dipping. When they're done, Cecile realizes that she's locked the keys to the car in the trunk, which is stuck. They're forced to spend a chilly night in the car in their birthday suits. Luckily, Thomas finds them the next morning while on his morning run. Although Elise is still very livid with him, she asks him for his help and he manages to pop the trunk open. Okay, you've made it this far in the video, so it's clear you're kicking back and enjoying. 
do me a huge favor and click the like and subscribe buttons. It's absolutely free to do and it goes a long way in helping me make more dope content for you like this video. Now, plug over, let's get back to it. The girls arrive and to Cecile's shock, she's lost her bracelet engraved with her late husband's named Laurent. The ladies head out to the beach where they meet up with the young lads for some ice cream. Marie Christine, the camel toe champion, bumps into them. The gang's informed that there is no ice cream after some mysterious vandals broke into the fridge. The owner mentions that he's looking for Laurent, a possible suspect in the theft, having found his bracelet at the crime scene. Marie Christine also gets wind of this and Cecile is forced to pass on claiming the bracelet at the risk of exposing herself. Cecile is having second doubts about the youthful company she's in and is weary of being nicknamed a cougar. Personally, I thought older women wear that with, like, a sense of pride. The young lads clarify that the girls are milfs and not cougars. Also, really quickly, drop in the comments below whether you think the plural of milf is milfs or milfs, like with a V, similar to shell. I guess whereas cougars are usually on the prowl, makes sense, milfs do not go out looking for love or anything in particular. The Milves go head-to-head -head with Luis in a beach horse race. Cecile ends up winning the race. Elise and Paul already have a head start on the house. The sparks flying between the two can't let them keep their hands off each other. Sonia and Cecile are forced to go to Marcus's house, where they indulge in some cocktails and jazz cabbage. Meanwhile, Cecile is disappointed that Sonia is still into Pascal, despite his selfish ways. While she's getting blazed, Julian sneaks into Sonia's bedroom for a night's hangout. Ironically, somewhere at camp far away, Cecile's 16-year-old son is also mingling with a girl who's older than him. But hey, perfectly alright in my book. No need to kink shame, age play is a big thrill. Back at the beach club, Paul recalls his encounter with Elise. It's evident he's a serial womanizer. Julian prefers to be more of a gentleman. And Marcus is certain that Paul is exaggerating his escapades. Cecile is still on edge about being seen in the company of men half her age. The bond between Paul and Cecile is growing stronger, but she's having her doubts about their age gap. It seems Paul finds younger girls more desirable. Sonia's falling for Julian, who's a gentleman, but she wants to end their fling before it gets too serious. Back at the house, Cecile adorns a necklace bought for her by Marcus while the guys are unwinding with a game of football. Cecile and Marcus head out to do some shopping. While they're bonding, Marie Christine stops by the shop to hand Cecile the bracelet she'd lost. Marie manages to recover it without the owner of the ice cream place noticing. Back at the house, Elise and Paul are bonding, but Paul seems distant. Elise has caught feelings and she suggests that they get together when his summer job ends, but Paul isn't interested in continuing with the fling. Sonia and Elise plan a final party before Cecile sells the house. All is well after their shopping trip until they find Luis, Julian's estranged ex, throwing trash on their car as payback to Sonia for stealing Julian. The party's going great. Cecile and Marcus are having a great time. However, Cecile is not in the company of Paul, who would rather fool around with younger girls. Sonia breaks the news to Julian that they can't be together. Meanwhile, Paul admits to Elise that he's not into relationships and that he'll only break her heart which is the last thing that he wants. Sonia finds Julian hanging by a cliff, ready to jump off, but she rescues him in time. The next morning, Cecile decides to break down the wall that'll allow her to overlook the garden. And this is where we have some sort of nice metaphor. She also has a change of heart and decides not to sell the house. The proverbial pelican that has taken over Cecile's room finally flies out the window. Could it be the start of something new? Ah, nothing like summer flings to put a little spring in your step, especially with seasoned, wise women. But that's where I draw the line for personal and professional. To talk more about my own interests, especially with romantic partners, I'd have to start an entirely new YouTube channel. But for a racy pseudo-Hallmark hybrid, not a bad movie. What do y'all think? Let me know in the comments below. And of course, be sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss the next recap. Until next time.